I think the Saudi Arabia had, the fact of the matter is Saudi Arabia had taken a decision, uh, the government uh, under late King Abdullah had taken the decision uh, four plus years ago that the fuel mix had to be broadened. Um, so specifically, um, late King Abdullah uh, created a agency by the name of KA Care, uh, which was very specifically assigned the responsibility of studying the possibility of introducing renewables and nuclear into the fuel mix, formulating policies, and coming up with a procurement plan. In my view, KA Care did a fantastic job. I think it did wonderful work and came up with a very firm proposal. Now, because there are many parties involved in the energy sector, I think things got bogged down a little bit in discussion, analysis, and so on and so forth. So understandably, you know, these are fundamental policy decisions. So it's been taking a little bit of time. But don't forget, also during this four-year period, we have seen the price of renewable, renewables still sort of four years ago, it was still high, uh, starting to come down, but not quite as much. And then all of a sudden, towards the tail end of 2014, you started to now see uh, the prices come down to such an extent where it is starting to make a compelling uh, value proposition, particularly photovoltaic and uh, wind, and even CSP, concentrated solar power, which when the analysis was done back in three years ago, the numbers that they were working with, they had no other choice, was 35 cents per kilowatt hour for CSP. This is fully dispatchable power that can work. It's solar power, it's sun, but we collect the heat and we store it so we are able to use it during day and night. Now, uh, alternative, but it was 35 cents per kilowatt hour. Um, but just in the last 18 months, you've seen that number come all the way down to 15 and a half now, so, and coming down fairly quickly. So we're now, as we come to the end of 2014 and into 2015, with all that work that had already been done by KAK to formulate policy, with more and more people starting to become convinced about the case for renewable energy to be mixed with the conventional uh, fossil fuel-based energies, and with Aramco taking leadership in uh, arguing to reduce dependence on the fossil fuels, uh, particularly as we are using the fossil fuels at a subsidized rate in this country. Uh, all of these, I think, are coinciding now at a point where I fully expect in 2015, coincidentally also a new government uh, taking the initiative forward, uh, we fully expect to see deployment starting in 2015. Um, a, a, a reasonably meaningful uh, renewables program that can then become the, I don't want to call it the pilot because I am expecting it to be of a reasonable size, which can then be the foundation for us to build. And as we deploy and as we see the tariffs becoming uh, uh, even more competitive, uh, the rate of deployment will accelerate. So I do think in the, in the sort of medium to long term, uh, the mix will end up being, or it's, it's every likelihood the mix could end up being something like 40% renewables um, and uh, another 35, 40% gas and uh, less than 20% oil subsequently fading away completely. Nuclear is another issue. I think there's lots more studies that needs to be done in due course.